So you want to learn how to code cleave in Minecraft. Well, I'm just the guy. So first you're going to make sure you have the command tag at s add Sakuna ran already in your world, assuming that you're doing the same as the dismantle world. It should be fine. And then you're going to want to give yourself slash give at s command block, right? And we're going to do one repeating command block right here. And it's going to have comparator, leader, right here, peer, into a command block right here, and into command block right here. And that will be set to two repeating. And this one will be set to, these two actually will be set to impulse. So this is going to be the main movement for, this is going to be the movement system for it. So first you're going to have to put in execute as at a tag equals Sakuna as item equals item equals stick location equals slot dot weapon dot main hand at at s position tilde tilde 1.5 tilde unless entity at s d direction x equals zero run effect at s slowness one two five five true all right so this is gonna make it so that while you are using it's going to slow you so that you can't move while you're using your cleave and we're also going to be using an armor slam for this since it's going to be somewhat of a moving attack so what you want ideally what you want to do is when you do that teleports armor stand and it shoots it out and we're gonna get the damaging part later but also remember commands will always be in the comment section check the comment section for the commands it will be in the pin comment anyways I'm just doing this to show you how it works and other stuff. So we have execute as at a tag equals Sakuna at at s position tilde tilde 1.5 unless entity at s direction x equals zero run summon armor stand capital C cleave power power negative 1.5 power 1 right and so what's that what that's going to do when you do that it's going to summon the armor stand it's going to plop through the floor probably but it's going to do whatever it's going to do it's going to be named cleave it's, if it's named cleave that means it's working right and in the repeating command block we are going to have execute as at a tag equals sakuna at at s position tilde tilde 1.5 tilde unless entity at s dx equals o run execute as at e type equals armor stand name equals cleave at at s at s run tp at s tilde 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 negative two right and so what that should do yeah, what that should be doing is pushing the cleave out. As long as as you're sneaking, it should be pushing the cleaves out. So when you do it, it probably won't go the right way that you want it to. It's gonna end up here. That's what this command block right here is for. So this was that's this command block right here is for. We're going to run. But it's supposed to put in here is execute as at a tag equals sakuna at at s position tilde tilde 0.5 tilde unless entity at s dx equals o checks for sneaking run tp at e type e equals armor stand name equals cleave tilde tilde negative 1.5 tilde one facing at s so now you'll notice when you do it they all teleport which we will fix them all teleporting in a second we just need a few more so we can worry about this one is this one is what will make you say it in chat 
this is optional right here, but you can do execute as at a tag equals sakuna at at s position tilde tilde multiply tilde unless entity at s dx equals o equals o run say cleave or whatever you want to say when he says when he does the sneak. So now you'll notice in the chat you will see cleave and now what you're gonna have is one two three four repeating command blocks set these all to repeating uh this is what's gonna this is what's gonna make the this is what's gonna make the cleave start cleaving you know right now it's just an armor stand being thrown around so first command block we're gonna put effect at e type Type equals armor stand name equals cleave. Um, invisibility one two five five true. Right, so you can notice cleaves are invisible. And then we're gonna run execute as at e type equals type equals armor stand name equals capital C cleave at at s run particle and you can use whatever particle you want here but I'm gonna use critical underscore hit underscore emitter tilde tilde two tilde and so that's gonna make it so that the cleaves will be marked with the particle normally it's not gonna look like this Normally it's just gonna look like that. And to fix the cleave stain, what we're gonna run is execute as at a tag equals sakuna at at s position tilde tilde 1.5 if entity at s direction x equals o run kill at e type equals armor stand name equals cleave right and so what this gonna do instead of every time you sneak it's gonna run it every time you're not sneaking it's going to run that so you see and you're gonna notice when you run it through it it's not doing any damage right well we're gonna fix that by doing execute as at e type type equals armor stand name equals cleave or whatever you decide to name it at at s run damage at e radius equals you can change the radius i'm gonna put the three blocks tag equals exclamation mark sakuna so that you don't get damage name equals exclamation mark cleave so that the cleave doesn't get destroyed by itself and this is this number right here that you're gonna put is gonna be the damage i'm gonna put five and then entity underscore attack and then you can you don't have to do after this but i like to make it so that they look at the cleave or that the cleave is the entity that is doing the damaging but that's completely optional after here and let's fix that right here Let's fix that. Is that good? All right. And so what you'll notice, it'll do damage to the enemies that it passes through. It won't move with your cursor. You you can make it so that it moves with your cursor, but I think that it's probably better if it just goes in a straight line. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Comments will be in the description. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you later.